So I'm Pamela Gunter Smith. I'm the president of York College of Pennsylvania. And it's my privilege today to be able to introduce you to two people who, uh, historical figures who are important to my education, Sophia B. Packard and Harriet E. Giles. Sophia B. Packard and her fellow teacher, Harriet B. Giles, founded Spelman College. Sophia was born on January 3rd, 1824, in New Salem, Massachusetts. Beginning at the age of 14, she alternated between periods of teaching and studying at local rural schools. She graduated from the female seminary in Charlestown, Massachusetts in 1850, and became a preceptor and teacher at the New Salem Academy, where she met her longtime companion, Harriet E. Giles. They opened the Rollstone School in Pittsburgh, Massachusetts in March 1859, but were forced to close its doors after a few months. Packer went on to teach at the Connecticut Literary Institution in Suffolk until 1864. And from 1864 to 1867, she was co-principal of the Oreck Collegiate Institute in Worcester, Massachusetts. In 1877, Packard and Giles were among the organizers of the Women's American Baptist Home Mission Society, a group devoted to spreading the gospel of Christianity and providing education to Native American and African American communities. Then in 1880, Sophia and Harriet undertook a tour of the South to assess the living conditions for African Americans. Noticing a scarcity of educational opportunities, they decided to open a school for black women and girls. With the help from the Women's Society, Sophia and Harriet launched the Atlanta Baptist Female Seminary in the basement of the Friendship Baptist Church in 1881. In addition to teaching, the two women led prayer meetings, conducted Sunday school, and administered life skill classes that enabled women to be self-supporting, regardless of education. The selfless educators met oil tycoon John D. Rockefeller, who was impressed with the women's efforts. He donated $5,000 to pay off the remainder of the school's debt. And in 1884, it was renamed Spelman Seminary in honor of Rockefeller's wife and in-laws. The school continued to expand its student body and physical presence, and the first Spelman class graduated in 1887. A charter granted by the state of Georgia in 1888 allowed Spelman to be incorporated under a board of trustees, which officially named Sophia the school's first president. She remained in that role until her death in Washington, D.C. on June 21, 1891. Following Sophia's death, Harriet assumed the school's presidency until her death in 1909. Their burgeoning school was already well on its way to becoming an acclaimed four-year liberal arts institution named Spelman College and remains to this day the premier historically black college in the nation for women of color. As a proud alumna of Spelman College, it's the story of the founders is one that is constantly repeated. In fact, we celebrate the founders on Founders Day, which occurs annually in April. All alums come back to the college for a program telling the story of the college, and in that way, thinking of the heritage that all of us are fortunate to have. That bond of all the alums to that historical uh, part of our history is one that is always very, very important. Indeed, on Founders Day, all alums coming back to the college wear white dresses and process. And one reason for the white dress that it always signified, at least in the African American society of that time, that that was the best that you had to offer. That was your Sunday best. So to have an opportunity to give this brief glimpse into the history of my alma mater is a really important to me, and I'm very privileged to have the opportunity to do so. Mm -hmm.